I thank the gentleman for yielding. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, I rise today in support of the 015 Military Construction and Veterans Affairs Appropriations Bill. Uh, I'm very happy to be on the floor with this bill today, Mr. Chairman, uh, both because it kicks off the uh, uh, 2015 appropriations cycle at a very early date. In fact, uh, uh, we know that this is the earliest in the year that our committee has presented a bill to the floor, at least since 1974, the date of the uh, budget, uh, budget Act, and perhaps even more so beyond that. We just don't have the records for that. So, Nevertheless, it's a very early date, and because it does the important work of providing funding for our military infrastructure and for the care of our veterans. This uh, bill provides $71.5 billion in discretionary funding to meet those needs. Within that total, uh, this bill provides $6.6 .6 billion for military construction projects, family housing, medical units, education, training facilities. This will help make, uh, make sure that the men and women of our armed forces have the quality of life that they deserve during their service and that they have the support that they need for our nation's military missions. The bill also provides a total of $4.7 billion in discretionary funding for the Department of Veterans Affairs. That goes a long way toward fulfilling our commitments to our veterans, making sure that in exchange for their service and their sacrifice, we will take care of their health and well-being. Of that money, $45 billion goes toward VA medical services, including funding for mental health care, suicide prevention, rural health initiatives, homeless veteran treatment, and job training. The bill also ensures that our benefit programs and health systems operate smoothly and efficiently. This bill continues our committee's hard work to reduce the disability claims backlog and demands that an interoperable Department of Defense VA electronic health record system is up and running as possible so that when a veteran goes to a VA hospital and the hospital medical people need access to Army records or DOD records when the uh, soldier was injured, that those records are available and compatible uh, so that VA then can use those records to further the treatment of the soldier. By providing increased funding for claims processing, continuing performance benchmarks to reduce the backlog, and placing conditions on funding for the modernization of the VA health record system, we're sending a very strong message, Mr. Chairman, to that agency that we want these problems fixed, and we want them fixed now. In total, the bill provides $1.8 billion less than last year, hard and fast proof that we can streamline this government and root out unnecessary spending without adversely affecting our troops and veterans. For example, less funding is provided to military construction accounts due to current price stability and a favorable bid climate which saves taxpayer dollars but has no effect on quality of life or services for our troops. Mr. Speaker, this bill is a model of bipartisanship that represents the good we can do by way of the appropriations process. That's in part, in most part, thanks to the subcommittee led by my good chairman, John Culberson, and his ranking member, uh, Mr. Bishop. They worked on a collaborative basis to produce a bill that truly fulfills the needs of our military and our veterans. And I want to take a moment, too, to thank the staff who all put in a great deal of hard work to uh, get this bill before the House this early and at all. 
As you know, Mr. Speaker, this is the first of 12 appropriations bills that we must bring to the floor before the August recess. With an agreed-upon budget, an early start, the cooperation of our colleagues on both sides of the aisle, and ample floor time, I believe we can complete our work, our congressional duty, on time, on budget, and under regular order. So I look forward to working with our colleagues to make this goal a reality. I couldn't be prouder to kick off our 2015 appropriations bill season with this legislation, and I urge my colleagues to support it fully. Thank the gentleman for yielding, and I yield back. Thank you.